um hey youtube today i'm going to show you how to um make your own studio microphone um what you're going to need if it's probably going to cost around uh 10 bucks maybe that's like the most it'll ever cost but um hold on one second i'm going to close my door all right so this microphone is fairly ch really cheap and it sounds excellent like the quality is insane but the one thing you're gonna need the biggest thing is you're gonna need a condenser mic element. This was about let's just say rounded off to five, but I bought it for like four oh six to be like exact plus tax and all that. But whatever, for five bucks right there. Alright. You're gonna need some resistors. You're just gonna need one or maybe two. I don't know if you need two or not, but like I use one. And you usually can just find one. I have a bunch, so just test with them because I really don't know what kind but don't get some like seriously like strong resistor you know what I'm saying like it just has to be basic um you're gonna need a capacitor but I don't know what size you're gonna need but for example I use a ceramic one I use ceramic ones and when you get a ceramic one like this right here that's a ceramic that's a ceramic uh capacitor and you don't it ma doesn't matter about the polarity all right it reminds you that this right here, that it's small, alright? So you need a small capacitor. Don't go big and get a freaking huge capacitor. Like, I got some from these cameras. Hold on. Let me find one. Camera capacitors. Um, okay, I really can't find one. But, like, you see this capacitor right here? You see this capacitor right, um, hold on, there? Don't get something that big. It's so unnecessary. All right, you just need a small one. All right. So then, what you would simply do is look at this little diagram that I made. All right. So when you get your condenser, one thing is your condenser has to be your condenser has to be a three prong. Like it has to have three extra prongs. So okay. So when I got mine from Radio Shock, this is what mine looked like. Mine looked like it had, mine looked like it had a black, a, like a, um, a silver wire, which is the ground, a silver, or sometimes the wire is silver, or it's copper, I don't know, but it's a ground wire, you can tell, it's stripped up, it's a bare wire, okay, you have your, uh, your other wire, your volt, you have your signal, and that wire was actually uh, red on mine. The wire was simply red. And then you have the um, other wire. And if you look here on the back, it actually shows some schematics. But you can't really read that because they're kind of on neat. But you have your white wire and it's just for your capacitor. All right. I mean your resistor. And then it doesn't really matter how you hook them up because you just got to make sure because... These two wires, the signal and the capacitor wire, right? These two wires are both connected to the same plug. So as long as you just to pick one of them and stick to the same schematic and you make sure that the ground is the ground, you'll be fine. Um, for you that don't know polarity, I, I looked it up actually. Believe it or not, lazy as I am, and I found something out. All right. If you look onto here, okay. You look under here, the capacitor. Oh my god, my camera's dumb. Look on the capacitor. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll get another one. I'll get the big one just to show an example because it's really big. You can't miss it. Alright, hold on. Alright, you see that mark right there? Hold on. You see that uh, line, that white line? That actually marks the negative, alright? And if you don't know what the negative is, usually when you buy capacitors, the capacitor usually has a shorter, like a shorter uh, prong, like little wires coming out. That's the negative, okay? And then simply, because when you get the mic element, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, the mic element is not going to like sound great because you need to case it, okay? And some things that you should know, that are very important is that your casing really depends on it, alright? That's, that's a big factor. And then remind you, if you don't do the schematic with your uh, 
microphone, it's not going to work. So, one, the ground wire simply goes straight to one part of the headphone jack, alright? Goes to one part of the headphone jack, straight to it. You have a battery, okay? I use the, um, I use the AA battery, just one. And then you hook up the negative part, and then you hook it up to one, the same headphone jack as the ground, alright? So, you have to make sure these two are connected. So, let me do that real quick. Alright. Those two are connected. And then, from one part of the signal wire, or the other wire, this one was red and this one was white. But, this one was white, so, white. So, this is the white wire, and this one's red, and it just goes up to a capacitor. And then you have to make sure your polarity, okay? So, you just gotta hook it up right. And I know that voltage is positive. So this right here is voltage. So it's positive. So you hook this up to the positive side. The y, the, the lead that has, um, the lead that has simply no white, white line, like doesn't have the white line down the middle. That's the positive, and then you hook up the negative to the headphone port. And then from the white wire, you go up straight to a resistor, right? Straight to a resistor. And then you to connect one part of the resistor, like, as a switch. So this right here is a switch, and you can make your own switch or whatever. I don't care, but it's just a switch where you can connect it like, directly, but it's going to burn your battery fast. And then you hook that up to the positive side of the battery, and there you go. So now, for the casing, all you're going to really need, and by the way, capacitors are like, capacitors and that are probably like, probably in total around, probably like 50 cents a piece, but 50 cents for like, a package of them, but whatever, I don't care. Alright, so you're just going to need assorted ones. Um, I got this Burger King, alright, I have codes in here, I don't want anyone trying to buy the codes, or whatever, but um, what you want to do, simply, is just take this, right? And you want to make a mic out of it, alright? So to do this, you would have your mic element, and you just put it in the middle. And then you poke a hole through the bottom. But I like using, like, Coke bottles, like, the, the big 2-liter bottles, because there's kind of a prong, like, a, a bottle prong like this, so that I can get stuff out. But whatever. It's your choice. I'm just using this example. So you poke a hole in the bottom, okay? And then you would make, get a t-shirt or something, okay? And then you would just put your t-shirt over this, okay? And then you would just tie it down and glue it on there so it's really tight, okay? And then what you would do is attach your mic element in the bottom. So you put your mic element through here, through the bottom. And then you would bring it up through here so that it's inside. And then you would want to seal it off, okay? And then what you would do is you would need to take that and put it through. And then you would need to make a casing for it so that it could just hold up. And all I did was take tape and then wrap it around the cup. And it did a pretty decent job, all right? And if you want to look at my ghetto mic, perfectly fine. You know what? I don't care. But there it is. I colored it. It looks cool to me. Alright? And it works beautiful. It's like a professional studio mic, alright? I'm dead serious. You really need to try this. And probably gonna waste more time than money. It's like probably under 10 bucks, whatever. I'm out. Deuces. You talking to?